What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be taking a look at this week's forecast, seeing what the stars have in store for us. So, let's get into it. As always, shout out to all the Pisces celebrating birthdays this week. Pay close attention to this energy, as this will be with you for the whole year. And I hope everybody enjoyed that full moon in Virgo. Uh, Pisces season has been a trip so far. Uh, I'm constantly seeing so much people uncomfortable with this energy. And I figured I'd take this time to say, like, the whole point of being a star watcher, an astrologer, right, uh, is to not only know thyself, but know the current of what's going on in the world and in society. Me, myself, I'm privileged, you know, uh, to be an educator, work with children. And on a day-to-day -day basis, not only am I looking at the influence of the stars upon myself, but children are so pure and unconscious to these things that you can truly see the, uh, the stars working through them, that energy. So, you know, with Pisces being uh, a very gloomy, artistic, imaginative energy, I've changed my whole aura you know, in everything I do during Pisces season and become a lot more relaxed, you know. Um, within anything, you have to present some resistance. So you can't be too lax, but you can't push yourself too hard because you'll find that you don't have the energy to do so. So just like Libra represents, we have to find a point of balance. And what all oppositions you know, represent. We have to find a point of balance between the two energies. And the full moon really highlighted that. You know, how much time am I devoting to my spiritual life and how do I use the things within my spiritual life to help ground me um, in my everyday reality, you know? So, like I said, I can tell you, you know, as a teacher, I've been, you know, a lot more conscious of the imaginative energy uh, out there. So I know the kids aren't going to really be too in tune with traditional work. So, you know, I'm cultivating their imaginations. You should do this with your own children and in turn use that same idea upon yourself. So I'm telling you guys, the best way to deal with Pisces energy is to embrace imagination, embrace solitude, but just do so wisely. Okay, um, it's cool to indulge, but and this is the thing we all have free will. I'm friends with you know, uh, people out there who don't believe in free will, and I gotta tell you, at times I, I wonder if it's true, but you know, it's something that I, I just I believe, I believe, yeah, we have the right to, to choose. And this week, you know, choice and free will become so much more evident, okay, so. We're getting into um, the waning phase of the moon cycle now, but this is still a, a week where we can we can continue working uh, towards our goals. But as always, at this point, we're gonna really see what worked and what didn't work, and we can kind to you know start to make minor adjustments. Okay, but um, we have this week we have the sun. Is going to be sextiling Mars and this aspect is going to perfect a uh, midweek Wednesday and of course Mars is in Taurus and this energy mixed with Pisces energy is very relaxed it is you know a complete change from the intense action-oriented energy of Aries right but at the same time, when Sun and Mars come together, our willpower is open and it is structured. With Mars being in a um, Earth sign, we're going to really want to go towards practical things. So once again, we want to try to work with our spirituality, our imagination, our Piscean needs in a very practical, grounded way. And this influence is going to force us, like I said, we have the willpower to do what we need to do is going to reside in whether or not we choose to do what we know we should do. Because at the same time, 
this energy is about indulgence okay so the urge to indulge is definitely there and not to mention Jupiter which you know represents overindulgence is in its own sign okay so be very mindful of that but you really do have the power and uh, the power and the strength to go after what it is that you want and do the right thing it's just a matter of of choosing how to do so but it's also you know like I said a good time to uh, pay attention to our finances you know what we're actually valuing who we value depending on what house is transiting for you and you know sun's influence is going to illuminate those things so like I said the choice is yours the next the next aspect uh, this week that points to choosing and, and what to do is Venus is also sextile Mercury and both of these planets are coming to the end of transits in particular signs however let's keep in mind we are in the shadow period of Mercury which is going to go retrograde I believe March 5th so it's important to pay attention to this influence right now um, things that are on your mind things that are being said uh, maybe last week you know with uh, Mercury square Jupiter you had a disagreement with somebody uh, all of these things will come back into play so keep mind to that but at the same time the conscious mind and you know the planet of love and harmony are in you know good aspect so once again it gives us the opportunity to focus our minds towards what we love and with uh, Venus being in Capricorn this is you know, representing the need to discipline ourselves and, you know, buckle down with uh, certain things, whether it be relationships, uh, business, career, all of that. So that energy is wide open. The ability to our express ourselves and understand, you know, certain dynamics within our relationships and realize whether it's good or bad for us and change that. It's all going to be uh, presented, okay? But like I said before, it's all going to boil down to choices and how we navigate through this. So it's really, it's really a week to really exercise wisdom, and that's going to be uh, even more prevalent when the sun, uh, the moon, links up with Jupiter uh, when it gets into the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, those two will conjunct. That always adds optimism. That always, you know, uh, makes us want to get in and study. So. Wisdom is going to be big, free will is going to be uh, big this week, and then the moon is going to move into Capricorn after that, where it's going to link up with Saturn, Pluto, then Venus, and then it's also going to uh, try Mars, which also, you know, opens up the window to go after what we want and focus. So, if you are playing to the Pisces themes, okay, meditating, doing your rituals, sticking to a... a you know, a clean diet, you know, crafting your routine the right way, being balanced, you should be feeling good this week. This is, uh, the, the energies in the sky are supporting us, all right? So, it's just a matter of choosing to do uh, the right thing with our 24 hours that we get each day. So then at the end of the week, Venus is going to switch signs. It's going to head into uh, the sign of Aquarius. Now, this is going to be uh, another change. We're going to go from Earth to air. And the interesting thing to note is that while Venus is finishing its transit of Capricorn, it's going to square to uh, uh, Uranus. Now, Venus square Uranus with the influence of the sun being in Pisces right now, Mercury being in Pisces right now, solitude is big. We are going to so there's gonna need some time you're gonna need some time to be with your own energy you're gonna need some time for you know self-reflection and this is the week to do so we're coming off of Venus being conjunct Pluto and Saturn which show adjustments in our relationships with others things may not have been the best they can be you know overly intense and energetically that weighs on us so like I said if you feel the need to retreat from others personal relationships um, you know even if you have kids 
what, what I'm saying is make time to be in your own energy, okay? To love up on yourself, all right? Um, because when Venus goes into Aquarius, people are going to, it's going to be a very demanding time. You know, we're going to be hit with a lot of opportunities uh, to be a part of groups. We're going to have, feel the need uh, to socialize and it's going to benefit us greatly. So before all of that occurs, I'm suggesting to you that, you know, you just take time to collect your own uh, energy, you know, reset it. If you need to do a spiritual bath, some crystal work, all of this is in favor because the sun is in Pisces. So very important to keep that in mind. All right. But overall, we got a great week ahead. Some good energy. Like I said, look at your goals. See what has materialized this, this moon cycle. Pay attention to, you know, your intuition as it'll be whispering certain things to you. Mercury soon to go retrograde. So take advantage of the ability to uh, be able to express what it is that you feel and do so. All right. So, y'all, this is my interpretation of this week's forecast. I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. Until next time, peace.